As we create more documents, it becomes harder and harder to find the documents that we're working with or that we want to work with. So there's a number of tricks and one of the ways is to organize it within the drive. So within the drive, you can add in folders and you can move content within the various folders. So if you want to create a folder, give it a name of test and then that way you can move the document into that folder and it's still going to remain the same. Permissions are still going to remain the same. The link to the document is still going to remain the same, but within the folder structure of your drive, it's going to be different. You can also select under recent if it's a document that you've been recently working with and as well within the sheets, of course, you can search it and search it by the name and also customize the search. So if you are looking for spreadsheets in particular, you can select the type select spreadsheet and from there you can set up the different parameters in order to do the search to find the document that you want to work with. And this is where naming the document is really important so that you can easily find and identify the document that you want to work with. And also naming sheets is also very important so you can create multiple sheets and if you want to change the name of the sheet, you've got options down here at the bottom where you can select the sheet, double click it and give it a new name. So make sure the name is meaningful and that it's going to actually represent the content of that sheet so that others, if they are viewing it, they can easily understand what is contained within this spreadsheet. There's also a few options as well. And these are similar within the drive where you can select the sheet. And if you right click it, you can set and add a star option. So you can add starred to it. So that will add in a star. And if that also allows you to easier find documents. So you can select under the starred within the drive and that will give you the starred contents that are currently within your drive. So this is one way that you can highlight important documents. And also within the drive, you can select and get the show file location. So that's going to give you the location of that file within the drive. So if you have multiple folders deep, you're going to be able to identify where that file is located. So within the I, for information in the top right hand side within the drive. This will give you more information about the file. It'll give you a brief icon there for the details of the file. It's also got the activity of the file. So what has happened, who's interacted with it, different edits that have happened on the file itself. And there's also a brief on who has access to it, the file type. So this is a Google Sheets, size, location, who the owner is, and all the details that you need in a quick glance. You can also get this information directly from the sheets itself. Under the file tab at the top, you can go down to the bottom where it says details. That will give you the basic details of where the file is. So it'll give you the location, the owner, when it was modified, when it was created. In addition, you can do the quick menu icons here at the top. So if you want to add a star to the file, you can select the star or you could unselect the star. You can also select to move the file. And if you do select the move, that will have the pop-up window allowing you to select the file and then move it. So navigating to your drive and move it to another location on your drive. So you can select move here once you've navigated to where you want to move the file. You can also quickly create new folders with the new folder icon. And this can provide you a way that you can add in the file if you're creating a folder on the fly when you've got this menu open and drop the file within the brand new folder. So now that's created on the drive. So if I go back to the My Drive, there's the test 10 and there's the file sitting within that location. There's also the document status. So this will give you information about what the current document is and whether the document is ready for offline use. So you can also set this document to edit it directly on your computer when you open up the browser if you do have the offline set. And in order to do that, you can select the folder drive and within the folder drive, you can select available offline. So when you do make it available offline and you go back to here, this will allow you to access the document using your Chrome browser to that URL. Even if you're offline, you don't need an internet connection. And then when you do establish an internet connection, it can sync the content back up to the drive. Also within the drive, as well as within the docs, you can really easily rename your document. So if you want to give it a new name, you can do it within the drive. And correspondingly, it's a lot easier to do it within the sheet when you do have it open. So if you want it to rename it to test new, then you could easily rename it to test new by simply clicking on it. Setting the offline access, that's also under the file menu where you can remove the offline access. 
So now the document will no longer be available offline and then you can make it available offline within the file menu, just as you did within the drive menu. And another nice, really nice feature with Google Sheets is that you also do have the different versions. So you can see the content that's been changed. You've got information about who made the changes. You've got an auto save. So it's automatically saving the different versions and when the versions are being made. There's also information about who made those updates. You can always restore to that version. So you can click to see the version and the version content, you can restore to that version. You can give the version a name so that that way it gets stirred into the version. So if it's a major change that you might want to revert to at some point, then give it a name. You can also make a copy of that version and copy that into a separate spreadsheet. And this is great for when you are collaborating that you can easily see who's made changes and what the changes are to the document. And this gives you a whole lot more details than you did see within the drive when we click on the drive and we got the details that we've got the activity here. So this is a more detailed view within the versions to be able to see the detailed activity that's happened of the changes that have been made to your spreadsheet. In order to access your documents offline, you do need to have the extension within Chrome and that's available under the Chrome extensions. You can also search for the Google Docs offline extension. You're going to see that this one has a lot of users and use it and add it into Chrome. So that will give you the opportunity to set your documents to be shared offline and make them available offline. And you do need to open them within the URL using your Chrome browser.